Hey everyone, I'm Tammy. Welcome to my channel. It's been a while. Yes, I know. It's been a while. But today I have a Dollar Tree haul. Before I get started, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Some of you may not know me, have not been familiar with my channel, but I am a homemaker. I live in central Alabama and I am also a Sunday school teacher to some great children. And I'm also a mother and a grandmother. So, I love to find bargains and deals. I love thrift stores. And I love the Dollar Tree. I've been a little upset with them for increasing their price. But, it has come around in the last couple of months that their prices are now cheaper than some of the prices at Walmart and other stores on some items. So, I have went back and have purchased some more items because it don't seem like I can stay out of the Dollar Tree. So we'll just get started. I don't have this in any particular order. I just set it out on my table and we'll just take off from here. This is a repeat purchase. These are the toilet scrub brushes and I like to buy these because I can use them a few times and then throw them away. I did get three of those this time. I picked up the Japanese Blossom bubble bath. I really like this bubble bath. It makes a good foam in the tub and it is a lot cheaper than buying the bubble bath at Walmart. This is 32 fluid ounces in each bottle and I picked up two of those. And it smells good too. While we're in the liquid soap products, we'll just move right on to dish liquid. I picked up two of these palm olive and I think these are lime, lavender and lime fragrance. And it's 25% more in the bottle. It's a 10 fluid ounce and I got two of those. I really like this for my dishes. I also picked up this soft soap in the rose, this soft rose fragrance. This is just the usual seven and a half fluid ounce. They haven't went down on their ounces of the soft soap yet. And it does, it smells real good. It smells like roses. And roses is my favorite flower and my favorite fragrance. Should have got two of those. I picked up this small thing of disinfecting Clorox. I like to keep this at my kitchen sink for uh, certain items that come through. You know, if it needs some extra cleaning. So this is just the right size to keep at my sink. And it is 11 fluid ounces. And it is the disinfecting bleach. These are so expensive at Walmart, they're over $3, but I got the Snyder's Square Pretzels. These are really good, and I also picked up the rods, the pretzel rods. So this makes a really good snack. These are good sized bags. This is 9 ounces, and this is 10 ounces for the pretzel rods. So I was glad to find those. I picked up these little drinks, these little hugs in a barrel. I like to get these for my grandchildren. I'll put them in the fridge and then I can just hand them one when they get thirsty. They do come to visit me quite frequently. And I just picked up one of those because they also like uh, sweet tea and Kool-Aid and I make that too. I found this Sure Fresh container. It sort of looks like a cereal container but it's not as large. It's heavy duty. It's more heavy duty than most of the containers there at Dollar Tree. It has a purple top and it locks on the side. It's BPA free and sans free, S-A-N-S free. So I got that, and I thought this would be real neat to keep like pasta, 
beans or peas, dry peas in. So I just got one of those. The price increase at Dollar Tree has got me thinking about my purchases. Used to, I would purchase more items, but uh, I've slowed down a little bit on just some frivolous things. This is a locker box, and it's got a magnet on the back. It's got two pockets in it. There's the magnet. But I'm going to put this on my refrigerator to put pens in and pencils. And maybe a little stapler, some rubber bands. But I thought this would be something neat to put on the fridge. I picked up this Colgate Whitening toothpaste. I thought that was a good deal. Got these styrofoam cups. I think they're 16 ounces. There's 20 in a pack. This is a little cheaper than Walmart. 20 cups, 16 fluid ounce. That's what they hold. So I got those to keep for when company comes or just when I don't want to mess up a glass or a tumbler. Found this baby shark little jug, little drinking jug. Got that for my youngest grandbaby and he's going to love it. It is BPA free and it's made by Nickelodeon. It's not a Dollar Tree product. It's put out by Nickelodeon. So I thought that was real cute. It's got the little pool top. And he'll like that. I picked up this big thing of SpaghettiOs. I actually got this for my stockpile. I don't eat SpaghettiOs often, but every once in a while I might. So I, since it was such a big can, I thought that would be good for my stockpile groceries. It's 22 ounces. So I thought that was a good deal. Pick these up for my Sunday school class. These are little fall pumpkins. It says give thanks and it's got a little paintbrush and three paints in there. And I got this as a little project for my Sunday school class to do. So I got some of those. And I thought that was a good price, $1.25. They're really cute. And they'll like that. Just something to do after we get through with our lesson. I also picked these up for my grandchildren. It's a five pack of Chips Deluxe Keebler brand mini cookies. I have, this is a repeat purchase. I've bought these before. And there's about five cookies in each pack. So I thought that was a good deal. So I got a pack for home here for them. And then I got a pack for my youngest grandchild to take to Sunday school with him for his class. And these have the little rainbow chips in them. So I got two packs of those. I cannot keep up with an ink pen, and it just disturbs me when I cannot find an ink pen. So I like a good writing one, so I got one of these zebras, and it's a medium point black click pen, and I'm hoping it writes good. So I'm going to put that in my pocket that goes on the refrigerator, so I will have a pen. got this small pack of instant potatoes, the home style buttery mashed potatoes. And I like these. This is a repeat buy. And I'm not sure if these are cheaper at Walmart or not. But I was there and so I picked one up. I have a few in my pantry but I wanted to get some more. I love Dollar Tree socks. And I found these. There's a two pack. These have little kitty cats on them. And I don't know exactly what he's doing. He's just sitting and stretching. But he's so cute. 
and they fit me really good they feel good this is the other pair what they look like so I was glad to get that I thought that was a good deal for two pair of socks these are distributed by Greenbrier so I was glad to get those Picked up a thing of Coffee Mate, just a small thing. I like these small things of creamer to keep on my coffee bar. This is six ounces, but it lasts quite a while because it's just me and my husband. And I got some quart size bags, little freezer bags or storage bags. So I got those. They're 16 in a pack. Have y'all priced storage bags lately? The Ziploc? They are expensive. My mother wanted me to pick up the butterscotch pudding snack packs. So I got her four of those. Picked up two white cake mix. A family member has a birthday this month. And I will be making a homemade birthday cake. So I got the Duncan Hines, that's my favorite cake mix. Two white cake mixes. I got the thing of these garbage bags. Tall kitchen, they're 13 gallons, there's only eight bags. But they do have the drawstring. So I got those. I got one pack of this chow mein. Neeson chow mein Raymond noodles. I like this, but I do not eat it very often because the sodium in this is sky high. But I did get one. I also picked up the Reynolds pop-up foil sheets. I always keep these in my pantry. They're so handy, especially if you're doing baked potatoes. If you're lining a, a pan, a cookie sheet. And I got the Scotty tissues. These, to me, are comparable to Kleenex brand, and there was 50% more in the box. There's 200 tissues in the box, and I thought that was a great buy. I picked up this journal. I thought it was really cute. It's a writing journal. It's got the little rubber band around it, and I'm going to take that off. It does have lined paper. I didn't even open it in the store to see if it had plain paper or lined paper. So I got that. I got this for a prize for my Sunday school class. They're always wanting to write and write things down and doodle and draw. It's got 60 sheets in it. So I thought that was cute. I got that. And my last items are some greeting cards. I got this one, which I thought was really cute. I know exactly who I'm gonna send that to. And these were the 50 cent cards. The cards have not went up in price. They have 50 cent cards. Isn't that beautiful? It's a birthday card. And they have dollar cards. So I'm glad they didn't go up on the cards. And these are Hallmark. That's got a little piece of bacon on it. That's a birthday card. That's a birthday card. But you really can't beat the price of their greeting cards. And that's a little card, a real funny card. And that's it. That's all I've got. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for looking at my video. If you will, please, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, Go ahead, it's free, it doesn't cost anything, it helps my channel grow. And I just thank you and I love you all and God bless you. See you next time.